Okay, everybody, welcome. <laughs> Woo, Sebastian Munoz from Torque GC, welcome. Very happy to have you up here. So you are the clubhouse leader at nine under. Tell us a little bit about your day. Great day. Uh, started with an eagle on 14. Um, kind of got things going. Then felt really in, con in control of my driver, irons, putting. I felt like everything felt kind of easy today. You know, like one of those days that things kind of go. And really comfortable and happy the way I play. That's great. And what's your strategy going into tomorrow? A little bit of the same. Just keep doing yeah. what you're doing, right? Yeah, it's working the ball, for you. Put it in front of me and let it happen. And you see um, Team Torque is also on the leaderboard as well. So Yeah, they're doing good. Yeah. Yeah, we're one back, I think. Yeah, do you think it's because I wore your shirt today? <laughs> well, we'll have to try tomorrow and yeah. see what happens. <laughs> All right, guys. Mike? Seb, uh, I think you were eight under through 11 at one point. Was was 59 or going through your mind at all? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, last year I shot 62 times, so it's one of, one of my goals, like, you know, to get to 59 one day. Uh, I just, I, I thought I hit a good shot on seven. I gave myself like a 45-footer, and I three-putted that one, and I knew that was going to kind of be the end of the 59 uh, strategy. So, so yeah, it didn't happen, but we're going to keep on trying. So what was going good today? What was going good today? What? what hey, I was I was in the fairway. Uh, I was hitting my approaches close to like 10 feet, 15 feet, or inside that, and I was reading the putts good. You know, like I feel like out here, it's tough depending on the grain and the slope. So you know, I gave myself good looks and I made it. So during practice rounds, did you did you feel like this course was going to be gettable this week? No, no. To be honest, not. I thought like I played practice rounds with my with my boys, and. Um, we we shot like you know four under best ball like on like nines you know like one day and the other day we shot like two under so we, we weren't playing that that you know that impressive but I'm glad that today was pretty impressive. I didn't uh, one last thing from me so obviously at Mayakoba I think you top ten uh, and then didn't go as well in Tucson. What was the mindset for your own game going into this week? Uh, I was, I talked to my coach, you know, I've, I've been feeling pretty good uh, with my game overall, you know, driving, irons, putting, it's just, it didn't feel as easy, it felt like, you know, I needed to find like one detail here, one feel here, and this, and yesterday, yesterday, yesterday afternoon, practicing after the program, I kind of felt something, and I liked it, and I just kept that in mind today, all day. Buenas tardes, Sebastián. Eh, fue buena ronda. Quería preguntarte, en una entrevista con OnePod Colombia hablabas de que este capítulo en tu carrera sería como algo muy distinto, algo muy feliz para ti. ¿Puedes describir un poco más cuál es ese sentimiento estando ya en este, pues en este, en Live? ¿Español? Sí, pues. Eh, sí, obviamente un camino diferente, un camino en donde priman más las cosas importantes en mi vida, más mi comunidad, más lo que me hace sentir feliz conmigo y mi gente y no tanto solamente yo individual con mis metas personales, entonces siento que construir algo con un grupo de gente que estimo mucho se me hace muy valioso y entonces estamos aquí poniendo la mejor actitud y poniendo las mejores ganas. Y para ti, ¿cuál es ese tipo de actividades que logras hacer en donde puedes no solo mover el deporte sino además lo que realmente es importante para ti como persona? Perdón, ¿cuál fue la pregunta? Para ti, eh, ¿dónde estás ahorita? ¿Cómo es más fácil o qué es lo que estás haciendo para promover ese tipo de cosas que para ti como persona son más importantes? Sí, eh, siento, que, siento que yo lo mostré. Es como, como mostrar esa unión, mostrar que, que uno puede hacer más cosas por la comunidad y mi comunidad es torque. Entonces, siento que tengo como un gear más para ir y mostrar y ser fuerte mentalmente porque estoy protegiendo es a mi comunidad. Gracias. Claro. Sebastian, you said you mentioned when you stopped thinking about a 59 after the bogey. When did you, when did you start thinking a 59 was possible? I think after uh, when was that? I threw I birdie I birdie four. I missed five, and then I birdie six. I birdie the tough part three. I made a great putt. I was like, ooh, okay, here we go. And then I didn't. It didn't happen. What is the biggest challenge out of that you see out of Orange County National? Uh, it's it's it, you know the the mixture between like the wind and the shot like the the wind the wind steady but you know it has it shifts a little in angles and those angles kind of make 
some pins a little more difficult or fairways to hit, you know, and especially like the wind's going to be from all over different places these days. So be able to adjust what you're playing today and not what you played yesterday. Sebastián, para Golf Weekend Latinoamérica. Desde el driving range hoy en la mañana te sentías cómodo, se te vio cómodo. Eh, obviamente partir con un águila y unos pads de 20 yardas, otro de 12 yardas, te, te dio el, el, el empuje para toda la ronda que lideraste todo el día. Eh, ¿Sentiste en algún minuto que pudiese haber un, un, un break en, en tu juego? Tenías muy buena salida, los green hoy fueron lo tuyo, eh, el viento soplaba muy, bastante, pero ¿tuviste algún, en algún minuto un break de decir, oye, voy... Voy bien, pero tengo que ir con más cuidado o simplemente te pusiste la quinta y fuiste directo a lo que había que hacer. Sí, lo que tú dijiste. Eh, esos días que se siente fácil jugar al golf, hay que ir. Hay que ir, no, no me puedo dis distraer con lo que puede pasar. O, o sea, solamente puedo controlar ahorita en este momento. Y la idea es que todo está saliendo bien, aprovechémoslo. Entonces, full quinta. Y durante la ronda, te ibas viendo de repente el, el, el leaderboard, te veías el número uno y, y veías al equipo, ¿sentiste un poco la presión? No, eh, siento que, que eso es motivante, ¿no? Saber que la ronda uno está contando, saber que el equipo de uno está en una buena posición, siento que eso, yo seguir consistente ahí, como que jalo también al equipo un poquito, entonces siento que es muy importante ponerse ahí y liderar jalando. Seb, we got to get you to a live hit with the CW, so I'm going to send you on your way. Thank you so much. Good luck tomorrow.